Hey, good morning. This is your big team with a big team to Marcus Matt. It's showing sports on a film video. Uh, good morning. Welcome. You know, uh, big T is riding solo today. Um, gig, little updates in sports. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to talk about it. You know, when it's been on the last couple of days, people say that Coach Carolina lost. Now, just been, you know, getting on this show, working on the, working on new street stories, things like that. Shout out to Joe Hill, E. Dub, you know, whole stream radio crew, you know, keep doing our thing. So, let's get started. What the Trailblazers and the Lakers last night, uh, Lakers in there. I think they had like a four game winning streak last night. And it's, uh, in the head 11 point lead, Portland came back, rally. Um, then we ended up with 39 points, uh, six assists, five rebounds. He's still that killer assassin. Um, great game. So, um, Ed Davis, Tar Heel, uh, nine points, uh, six, you know, six rebounds. Uh, CJ McCullough, 22 points. Just for Nurkic, I think that's what it is, is 16 points, 16 rebounds. Um, you know, Lakers talk about them real quick. Um, I think they're doing a great job. Um, you know, George Rondo, 21 points. That yeah, came up a lot this year. Uh, by coming in the start lineup, the coming in the start lineup, he has did his thing tremendously. Um, Luke Lillard plays 14 points. Uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope, 16 points. Kyle Kuzma, 11 points. Um, Lonzo Ball, 10 points. Two assists, two rebounds. Um, Isaiah Thomas off the bench, 19 points, seven assists. And, you know, what what do y'all say, think about, you know, the Isaiah Thomas uh, Lonzo Ball situation? You know, I think Alonzo. Um, Isaiah Thomas gave that veteran leadership. Is did did the Lakers rush too fast to go get Lonzo? Um, to me, you know, because the the star talent that I guess that he was um, supposed to possess, that you know, he hasn't looked that good to me this year. You know, he he's an average player. He's not what everybody thinks he's supposed to be. So, that's how I got to look at it. You know, 10 points, 2 assists, 2 rebounds is average. Um, I say it's always a uh, veteran leader, 19.7 assists. You know, start, starter, come off the bench. Starter, come off the bench. What you think? Uh, they are in the playoff hunt. So, you know, would you let Lonzo come off the bench right now? And let Isaiah make their push for the starting partner guard to, you know, get them, trying to get them in the playoff hunt. I know Daddy ha- will have something to say about that if that would happen. But, you know, look at it. I'm just saying, look at it. You know, he hasn't produced nothing to me that, you know, say he's worthy of a starting point guard right now. You know, so a lot of guys had to take their uh, bump in the roads before they get it together. So, they got Kobe talk. Kobe talk to, you know, when he first came to the league, it took him two years to get it together. Um, I'm just saying. So, you know me. I'm just saying. Shots fire. So, you know, I just think Isaiah Thomas is a better fit as a point guard position. And, um, you know, look at the chemistry. The chemistry don't got a lot better. You know, he had the first two. I think it took them three games to get you know get that win. But when since they got you know they've been winning, getting together, they are they have been gelling pretty good. So, uh, big up to Isaiah Thomas, little little Tom. So, I call him little Tom, little Tom. So, uh, moving on, Cleveland. Uh, that next thing you beat our uh, game last night. I know he had 22 points. Uh, let's see. Let's see his stats. Not yet. Um, that next thing you 22 points, 15 rebounds. You know, he started Sunday last night for the injured uh, 
Tristan Thompson with an ankle injury. Um, LeBron James, 31 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Rodney Hill, 13 points. George Hill, 3 points, 5 assists, 3 rebounds. Um, J.R. Smith. You know, a lot going on with J.R. Smith right now about the situation that he threw uh, some fruit on DeAndre Jones. J.R. Smith is having a rough year to get this year. No points last night. And, you know, he you whine and complain because Dwayne was in the starting lineup. Um, the chemistry, everybody complained that I just think that did you trade the wrong man? Did the wrong man get this? You know, you traded the Shumpert. Well, was the wrong man getting traded? Oh, nobody didn't want him. All right, no points to assist. Uh, and and JR has, hasn't really produced nothing in the last couple of years for me. So, um, hmm, hmm, shots fired. So, um, bitch, rise, Jordan Clouds, 11, uh, 11.6, 2 rebounds, 6 rebounds, uh, 2 assists, I'm sorry, 6 rebounds. Um, Kyle Cook, 11 points, uh, 3 assists, still a good shooter, so, um, he did his thing last night. Cleveland, you know, first win, they were struggling a little bit, so, uh, came out when the major straight was hot, um, then lost a couple, um, first win, it was a little while, so, um, what do you think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, they're going to be pushing Cleveland to push strong for the playoffs. Does Cleveland even make it to the Eastern Conference Finals or e- even the Finals? You know, you think who's going to take over that spot? You know, will, it, will Boston step up to the challenge and go ahead and take that uh, Eastern Conference back? Uh, sit LeBron down for his first time after, after seven finals, uh, trying to make it his eighth straight. That is unheard of. No, I, I can't say that because Michael could have done that. I think Michael Jordan won the NBA Finals. I think, um, but he was that GOAT. He was that, that Michael was that, that, that type of guy. He he, he was going to cut your throat to get there. So he would do anything it took. Like we said, um, we were talking about basketball. It's so different from the 90s now to, um, you know, Michael was just that, you know, he was that fire. He was just that, you know, he was, gonna, he was just going to get up in you. So, um, I think he will win the 8th Street, not retiring from baseball. They go to baseball, you know, things happen with, the thing happened with his father. Um, but then he still won those two championships with Michael not even in, even in the league. So, you know, coming back late that, that second time, you know, Orlando met him. So, you know, what y'all think? You know, you know. I think Michael. You know, so you know everybody bragging like LeBron was going good to go to eight NBA finals on her though. But just sitting here thinking, I think Michael would have done it. Michael went to six straight. You know, went to three. Then you know took a break. Went to three more. So, hmm, They're very interesting. I think he could have went to eight straight. So this this Michael Jordan. Who who don't you think? All right, Cleveland's still struggling. Um, they need wins to get in the playoffs. Um, Lake goes 25 points, 8 rebounds, uh, 5 and 6, Andre Drummond, um, 15 points, 9 rebounds. Uh, one is not a double-double to him, like, um, shocking. Um, Reggie Wood, 11 points, 1 is just 1 rebound. Uh, um... Bench fire, Stanley Johnson, uh, nine points, oh, and assists, three rounds, and the time were eight points. Um, Luke Kinkley, uh, K- Luke Kamar, uh, Duke, Duke Hill, six points, 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 uh, Kansas Navy down here in Kansas, North Carolina, doing his thing. Uh, big ups to him. So, um, big ups to Ridge Bullock. So, uh, let's take a quick, uh, quick break, real quick. Hey, Willis on the rise. J Real, Mellow Mel.
Yeah. Yeah. The real is on the rise. Fuck them mother guys. Why y'all niggas looking all stupid and surprised? Money on my mind. Money on my mental no niggas know I'm on my grind. So you know what I get into. Dealing with my brothers. I ain't fucking with you suckers. Swear that guy y'all niggas out here know that y'all just can't touch us. Bricks, that's the click. Haters on our dick. Give a shit. Every time I turn around, I give them shit. Niggas know just how it go. Blowing on some other shit. About to fucking blow and take off like the mothership. They don't understand it. They be underhanded. I don't think I give a shit until the day I'm apprehended. Uh, lyrically, I'm hard. Lyrically, you're so. Swear to God, I fuck around. I have to knock you haters off. Haters get tossed. Deep in your bitch, bitch. I ride with the starting five. They be on the bench. The real is on the rise. Oh, on the mother's cash. Straight up on my ride. Trying to oh, get the this cash. The real is on the rise. That shit, I oh, can't escape. Talking about the that rise. life, but I oh, live this way. be up in the hall of fame everybody hating man it's all a shame they really think i'm playing but it's not a game and all these other rappers sound and all the same i ain't got no time for that i be where the grind is at so if you trying to look for me then you know where to find me at dog why these niggas hating on our calls put my dick up in your bitch and let her hate my balls they say you only get one shot, but I got a full clip, so my spitting won't stop. I'm the best for the rest, cause all you niggas suck. I advise you keep it moving like a U-Haul truck. I've been spitting this for years, and y'all niggas just started. I'm shitting on you rappers, and it smell like you just fought it. That's just how it go, these niggas are slow. Me, myself, I'm chasing dope, while you out here chasing hoes, yeah. All right, that was really on the ride. So we for the Joe Bear Hip Hop Show, Melly Mel. Joe Bear Hip Hop Show, Sunday is 8 o'clock right here on Stream Radio. And also give you a quick update on got new shows called Street Stories. Street Stories is a story about inspiration, story about people who are uh, going through situations and overcame them. Um, very good stories. Check us out. Uh, we're going to get uh, our new our colleague Terry Blossom, she told her story on uh, Sunday. Go back and check that out. And my co host King C told his story. Very interesting story. Very interesting um, things that, you know, in this world, you know, things you go through and the things you walk through just to come out and just um, what well, inspires you to, you know, want to do better every day. Go back and take that stories out. We got many more stories coming up. Uh, so people can tell uh, what things they've been through, prison life, um, uh, uh, selling drugs, uh, to overcome them, uh, run their own businesses, uh, how they live in them, things like that. So go check it out, Street Stories on the Stream Radio. 